Today I'm gonna to show you how to take a screenshot on your iPhone or Android phone. Stretch your fingers because there's gonna be a lot of buttons getting pressed. Hey, there are many reasons you might wanna take a screenshot on your phone. Perhaps you see a cool Instagram post, you wanna save it, or um, maybe you're trying to dress better and you wanna document some cool men's fashions. Or perhaps you had a fun text conversation and you wanna share it with your friends. Whatever the reason, here are a couple easy ways to take a screenshot on your phone. Let's start with the iPhone, specifically the one without a home button. You know, the iPhone 10, 10s, 10R, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro. Actually, if you own one of these, you've probably taken many an accidental screenshot. Just keeping it real here. But here's how you take a screenshot on purpose. You're going to simultaneously press the power button and the volume up button. Now you need a nice Goldilocks press on this. If you press too short, then nothing will happen. If you press too long, you're gonna activate the SOS emergency screen or the power off screen, and you don't want that. But give it a nice firm press and you'll have a screenshot. No jokes here. When you take a screenshot, you're gonna see the display light up and you'll also hear a camera shutter sound and this indicates success. On the bottom left of your screen, you'll see a little miniature version of your screenshot floating. If you tap on it, you can go into markup mode. This will let you edit it, add text, and well, mark it up. You might remember markup mode from our PDF video. By default, your screenshot will save to the camera roll. And if you don't wanna edit it, you can either swipe the little miniature version away or wait a few seconds and it will disappear on its own. Come on, go away. I'm waiting for you to disappear. <laughs> Funny enough, that's actually something my mother says to me quite a bit. <laughs> Now, if you have one of these handy dandy iPhones with a home button, you're gonna press the home button at the same time as the power button to take a screenshot. Oh, wait, whose iPhone 5 is this? That's yours? You need to upgrade. This is like really old. So, man, I miss this size. Oh. And just like the iPhone method before, a little screenshot will appear on the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Now, let's switch to you Android users out there. Where's my Galaxy gals and my Moto men and my Pixel peeps? <laughs> I'm very alliterative today. Depending on what model Android phone you have, there's a couple different ways to take a screenshot. The universal way is to hold down the power button and the volume down button, the exact opposite of Apple. And this is going to flash the screen and you'll see a little frame version of your screenshot appear and then disappear. Now, on some phones, you might even see a editor pop up so you can make it different size, crop it, add text, all that stuff. This depends on your phone. If you own a Motorola phone, you can use the Android method or you can use one of my favorite methods, which is using three fingers on the screen. Um, it's kind of like the Android version of uh, Spock's Vulcan neck pinch from Star Trek. Spock! That is highly illogical, Patrick. To enable this, go into the Moto app, or if you have an older Motorola phone, look for the Moto Actions menu, and you're going to enable three finger screenshot. Now, anytime you want to take a screenshot, you simply take three fingers and press and hold them on the phone. Personally, I like to uh, quote a line that Spock would say when I do it. It just makes me feel good. Computers make excellent and efficient servants, but I have no wish to serve under them. What, I'm quoting Spock here, what's your problem? Get out of here, Star Wars lover. But if you think that's fun, Samsung even has more options to capture a screenshot. On Samsung phones, you can actually take screenshots with your palm, I am not joking. To do this, go into the settings menu and under the search field, type the word palm. Enable palm swipe to capture. Now, position your hand in a karate shop pose on top of the screen and drag it from right to left and you've captured your screenshot. I'll admit this gesture is not as reliable as pressing buttons, but it's good in a pinch. By the way, Samsung didn't stop there. If you have a Galaxy phone with an edge panel, you can use it to capture the screen and even make GIFs. You might remember that from our how to make a GIF video. Hmm, boy, I was so innocent and naive back then. What happened? That's uh, something else my mother always says to me. To enable the edge panel, go into settings and in the search field, type the word edge. If nothing pops up, 
then you might have a phone that's a little bit older than the edge panel, and so, well, stick to the palm method, right? <laughs> but once you have the edge panel settings up, you're gonna see a carousel of edge panel options. Go to the one that says Smart Select and, well, select it. There you go. Now, when you wanna capture your screen or part of it, just open the edge panel and you can choose the rectangle, an oval, or even a GIF capture to get part or a portion of the screen. So now you know how to take a screenshot pretty much on any phone, good for you. If you have other ways you'd like to do this or if there's an app you like to use or you have an Android phone that does even something weirder than the Paul method, throw that in the comments. And if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut.